It's a stunning update to a top-of-the-line machine that's a long-term favorite of those who value convenience, plus the ability to truly craft their coffee, espresso, and an incredible range of milk-based beverages. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love with the new Gaja Academia. I'm super excited by this machine. The previous version of the Academia was my daily driver here in the studio for more than a year. Now, why was that? Well, it comes down to drink quality. I could have had just about any bean to cup automatic, and I choose the Academia. Compared to other automatics I've used, and I've used a lot, the Academia made the best drinks. The updated Academia has everything that made the original wonderful, plus an incredible new design and interface and more ways to make drinks even better. Before we get into it, no, the original Academia was built like a tank. Here's a screenshot of a drink counter showing more than 30,000 brew cycles. The story? It was used and abused in an office environment. Routine maintenance was lacking, but even in those conditions, it was still making drinks after more than 30,000 brew cycles before it came in for service. Now, the new Academia is far more beautiful, but built on the same bones, so it's reasonable to expect the same reliability in the update. Now, I like to think of the Academia as a crossover machine. Simple, easy, and convenient when that's what you want, but it has a depth of features to create, customize, and save specialty cafe quality coffee, espresso, and milk drinks exactly the way you want them. Really, no other machine near this price with the control and feature set of the Academia. Now, coming up in this video, I'll take a look at features, coffee and milk drink quality, flow control using the Espresso Plus system. I'll show you how to make, modify, and save custom drinks using the simple and powerful user interface and finish up with some final thoughts. So here's a quick list of some standout features. It's got easy setup and use with plain language and graphics to guide you, 19 coffee and milk drink specialties on the menu, milk carafe with four levels of per drink programmable milk froth density and automatic cleaning, a unique spout design for two coffees at the same time that adjusts for large to go cups, a heated cup warmer with programmable turn on times, coffee boost for when you need a delicious extra kick in your cup, commercial style steam wand to show off your frothing and latte art skills, flow control to slow down or speed up brewing and fine tune coffee flavor, on the fly drink modification and programming for drinks just the way you want them with custom naming, you can easily save custom drinks to one of four user profiles, quick startup from power on to ready to brew in less than a minute and a two year parts and labor warranty. Coming up, I'll cover key features in detail, but just look at this luxurious made in Italy beauty. It screams quality. Sitting behind a real glass front that's accented by the Gaja Milano red stripe, a five inch touchscreen display is just as responsive as your smartphone. The sides and top of the machine are painted stainless steel. This is breakout build quality. It's not a plastic box like nearly every other machine on the market. From the solid feel of the knurled metal control knobs to the steam wands ball joint to the rubber strips on the drip tray, little extras take the academia to another level of fit, finish, and feel. Before I dive into the exceptional user interface, let's talk about the things that make espresso and coffee so good on the Academia. The machine uses Gaja's latest and most advanced brew unit. It doses up to 11.5 grams per brew cycle. When you make two coffees simultaneously, the machine automatically does two grind cycles. Now, Gaja machines have done that for a long time. Machines from other manufacturers often just pump more water through the same amount of coffee, resulting in a weaker brew. Coffee Boost is a new feature and exclusive on the Academia. Turn it on and a drink made from a single grind cycle is changed to use two grind cycles. The second grind cycle extracts a delicious short and sweet ristretto like shot. So drink size, that's gonna stay the same but you're gonna get a more intense coffee. One of my favorite drinks is the Red Eye and Coffee Boost is the perfect way to make one. One of my favorite features on the Academia is Gaja's Espresso Plus system. Using a dial on the spout, the flow rate of brew water through coffee can be adjusted. This powerful feature is what hobbyists and pros use to 
fine-tuned flavor. Here's how it helps. When brewing larger coffees, you typically want a coarser grind. When making espresso, you want a finer grind. But what if you're making both larger coffees and smaller espressos? Instead of changing the grind size all the time, you could pick a middle ground and use flow control to increase brewing speed for larger coffees and decrease it for smaller espressos. Changing flow rate through the ground coffee is essentially what you are doing when adjusting grind size for different beverages. The current flow settings shows in the display and updates in real time as it's adjusted. A faster flow or coarser grind avoids bitter flavors in larger coffees and a slower flow or finer grind increases depth of flavor and crema in smaller espressos. For milk drinks, first you want some convenience. So if you do milk drinks a lot, it should be easy. I've used milk systems with hoses to connect to external storage and honestly, they are work, you know, kind of a pain to clean. The Academia's carafe system is brilliant. Pull it from the fridge, attach to the machine, and that's it. When you're done, push the spout over and steam automatically runs through the frothing components without touching the milk inside. Return the craft to the fridge with milk loaded and it's all ready to go the next time you are. Really doesn't get easier or faster than that. On top of the espresso, milk drink quality depends on the froth being proper for the drink. A latte, for example, should have a very fine froth. A traditional cappuccino should have a much airier froth. In an exclusive for machines at this price, the Academia has four levels of froth density and they are programmable per drink. So you can work up from milk that's simply heated to a fine froth and keep going to a lighter, drier, airier froth of the traditional cappuccino. Milk temps out of the craft are perfect, right in the sweet zone, used by baristas and specialty cafes for best flavor. And if you want to invoke full barista beast mode on the weekends, then do some latte art with a little practice, you can do it. Frothing milk to silky perfection with the long commercial style wand mounted on a ball joint. The Academia's milk drink selection is about as good as it gets with nine in all, ranging from cafe au lait, standard lattes to extra large cappuccinos, double shot flat whites, regional Italian specialties like the melange or macchiatoni, plus cortado, macchiatos, and more. In addition to the four levels of milk froth density, the Academia changes milk preparation order based on the drink being made. So when it makes drinks like a latte or flat white, it brews the espresso first, but do a cappuccino or macchiato and it's milk first and then espresso. The flipping of prep order is exactly how a barista would do it and makes a really big difference in the mouthfeel of each drink by changing how espresso and milk mix and it's gonna improve the visual presentation. If you're not sure if a drink is milk or espresso first, it's really easy to tell. Looking at drink images on the display, espresso first drinks show more mixing of milk and espresso, while milk first drinks show a distinct cap of milk or isolated layer of espresso. You can also tell when a drink is in progress by the order of the on-the-fly programming bars in the display. If it's milk first, the white bar is on top with brown on bottom and vice versa for espresso beverages. Coming up, more about making on-the-fly changes to drink volumes. The Academia combines a very easy-to-use carafe system with programmable milk froth density, proper espresso and milk prep order, and extensive drink options into one of the most convenient and capable milk drink makers available. No super automatic at this price even comes close. Making drinks is simple. Just navigate to the drink you want using the touch screen or rotary knob and press the play stop button. All of the drinks listed are at standard settings. Coming up, I'll show you how easy it is to make and save changes to create your own versions of a drink. While a drink is in progress, you can change coffee and milk volumes on the fly. Use a touch screen or knob to make a change and the check mark to confirm. While the drink is made, you'll get a progress bar and information for current flow setting, coffee strength, pre-brewing, and temperature. Let's take a tour of the touchscreen interface. To the left are on, off, home, clean set, and purge. The home button always takes you back to the home menu. 
clean set takes you to the four automatic cleaning functions or into the various machine settings like setting a star screen so all your custom drinks come up first and setting times and days of the week for the cup warmer to turn on. That can be set to wake up at three times and you can select days of the week for each time. I really like the cup warmer a lot. If I always turn on my machine weekdays, say at 7 a.m., I'd set the warmer to turn on at 6.30 so my cups are preheated. Then I can set another timer a little later just for the weekends and maybe a third for coffee with dinner. If the display shows the cup warmer is on, just tap the display to turn on the machine. The purge button is used in conjunction with a commercial style steaming wand. When done frothing, just touch and steam is run through the wand to clean it internally and that stops automatically. The real star of the show is the touch display. Use your finger to select drinks by name and picture or you can scroll through using the rotary knob. When you select a drink, all the drink settings are displayed. If desired, you can modify any of the settings, so you can set how much coffee and milk is dispensed. Aroma sets how strong your coffee is in five levels, or you can select pre-ground, which you'd load in the bypass doser in front of the cup warming surface. For drinks over 1.7 ounces or 50 milliliters, the Bean Plus icon turns on coffee boost. That function keeps the finished volume of the coffee the same, but runs two grind cycles for a stronger cup. Pre-brewing wets the ground coffee. You can turn that off or set to three levels to lengthen the amount of pre-brewing. It's a useful feature to increase depth of flavor or control brightness in fresh from roast specialty coffees. For coffee drinks, select the cups icon to change from brewing a single cup or two cups at the same time using two grind cycles to maintain coffee strength. For milk drinks made using the carafe, Froth density is adjustable in four levels, so everything from a steamed milk, which just heats milk, to an airy froth for a traditional cappuccino. Coffee temperature is adjustable in three levels. Any changes you make to a drink can be a one-time thing, or you can save the drink and rename it if desired. So, make any changes, including a new name, then press the heart icon and select one of the four user profiles into which to save the drink. With that, four users can each have their own set of custom drinks. From within a profile, you can add or delete drinks and edit their settings. In the upper left of the display are indications for brew group cleaning, descaling, water filter, cup warmer, and wake up timer. Press the heart icon to the lower left to select a profile and drinks in that profile are displayed. If desired, in settings, you can select one of the profiles to be your start screen so your custom drinks show first when you turn the machine on. Notice the color of the pedestal changes to match the profile being displayed. On-screen help is easy to get to. Not sure what a drink setting means? Just press the question mark and scroll through a description of each. If you need to consult the manual, just press the book icon and a QR code comes up. Grab that with your smartphone to access an online manual and more information. The updated Made in Italy Gaja Academia is a beautiful and easy to use machine featuring what I consider to be the overall best milk system on the market. The Espresso Plus system using flow control and coffee boost deliver drinks of exceptional quality. The all metal housing, glass front panel and thoughtful touch interface stand out among the plastic boxes of competing machines. No other machine combines the features, drink quality, and luxurious design touches of the Gaja Academia at anywhere near the price. The Gaja Academia is available now. If you have questions about this machine or anything coffee, use the comments and I'd be happy to get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and if you love coffee and espresso as much as I do, I invite you to subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.